Hey guys, at BV Madsen here. Let's time the shockwave. Okay guys, this is a finicky, finicky bugger. Um, I just actually did it, and because I love you guys so much, I'm gonna start all over again. And here are a couple things you need to know. All right, first, when you start timing, you want your left cylinder, okay, up on its compression stroke. So basically I've got my rotor set at uh, LT um, and I can see my cylinder inside here and my piston, I can see my piston all the way up so I know I'm good to go there. And uh, next little step that you wanna do is you wanna take a look at your index mark on your um, advance unit and just make sure that when you're on LT, that your index mark is actually pointed down. You can see it there right on my thumb there. It's pointed down and that's where you are going to want that index mark because we are gonna time the left first, okay? And we need to align that notch with our left sensor, okay? So we have the plate. We did this in a previous video. Uh, both of my things are on here kind of loosely. Um, basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert our plate. I gotta get a little comfortable because this takes a little bit of time, guys, no joke. Get this thing kind of installed here, just like that. It'll just kind of slop right into position. And I should have taken a picture of where I had it timed out, um, but I didn't, so we're starting totally fresh. All right, so I'm just going to loosely Install the shockwave plate onto my points box here. All right, loosely, don't wanna tighten this thing up yet. And according to the directions, you want a 0.3 feeler gauge on this, okay? So grab your 14 millimeter wrench, put that down, let me see if I can go down, put that down on here so you can rotate the motor and what we wanna do is rotate the motor until our index mark on the uh, advance unit is centered on our sensor. So I can actually back the motor up just a little bit. You don't wanna go clockwise very often with your motor, but right here, that was just a little bit. Here you can see my index mark is lined up there, and I have all this play on this sensor, okay? Grab your point three, slide that, in, in between the advancer and the sensor. Let's see, let me make sure I got that snug on there. It's like that. And that'll stay there just like that. Actually, I forgot I need to get some Loctite. Let me grab my Loctite, all right? With your blue Loctite back on your bolt, center your index mark on the sensor, insert your 0.3 feeler gauge, in between the sensor and the advance unit and tighten this bad boy home. All right, just tighten it all the way up. Hopefully we will never have to move that again. So 0.3 feeler gauge there. You're gonna need that 0.3, so don't lose it, okay? Next step is that we've gotta get this left cylinder timed, um, but first let's get this bad boy in place as well. And when you're adjusting this one, all you wanna do is you wanna rotate your rotor just a little bit till your index mark gets into the middle of this sensor. And then what you wanna do is you wanna insert your, your uh, three into this to make sure that you're good to go there. So this one is a little bit snug. So I'm just gonna grab this, loosen that up a little bit so I get a little bit of free play. You just wanna make sure that you get that index mark lined up on that. So you got clearance push that into position and tighten that one up uh, for now. Um, you can go ahead and take like a point two as well uh, and, and deal with that here too. So on the left side here, I'm just gonna take like a point two, grab the whole unit, shove that all together, make sure my three is there, my index mark is lined up, boom, good to go. But now we want to mess with our actual plate. So what we do on this whole series of fun events is that we are going to be turning our rotor to LF, to our LF mark, our fire, and we're gonna watch the lights on the ignition. So I'm hoping I can give you guys a shot of this. I'm gonna go key on, 
And let me move you a little bit here. Yeah, there you go. You guys can see the lights right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my 14 millimeter and I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna turn my engine counterclockwise until I see the blue light go off. So I'm getting really close to it there. Remember, I'm on compression stroke on my left and it went off way early. Let me show you how early it, uh, it actually went off. I'm gonna turn off this key switch though. Don't leave this on, leave this on as little as possible. All right, see my LF mark and my index mark? I am way off, okay? So what that means is, is that I actually have to rotate my plate in order for the light, that blue light to go off as soon as I hit my LF mark. That is your first goal. All right, to adjust your plate, all you're gonna do is loosen these two, okay? And then we're gonna move. I had to move this quite a bit, so I'm actually gonna just kind of tip it into this position, and then I'm gonna dial this back up, grab my 14 millimeter, I'm gonna turn my key back on, okay? And then I'm just gonna back my motor up just a little bit, and see how my blue light is on? Let's move this through, and let's see when it goes off here. So, let's see. Ooh, let's see, so there it's on. I'm approaching my LF. And I went a little bit too far, so I actually have to move my plate back just a little bit more. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this. Again, turn off the key when you're not messing with this. You don't wanna burn out your coils. So I'm actually going to tilt back, if I can grab it, just a little bit, just like that. So I'm gonna tighten this up now. Remember, I'm on my compression stroke on my left cylinder. So now I'm gonna go back to key on. Okay, back up my motor just a little bit. My blue light is on. And I'm gonna to move towards my LF. And there I'm, uh, I'm quite a bit closer actually. So I know I'm going the right way on this. I just need to go a little bit more. Again, key off, key off when you're not looking at the lights and you're not actually making adjustments. So now I'm gonna move it a little bit more. And these are micro freaking adjustments, guys. <laughs> I mean, really micro. Key on, I'm gonna back my motor up just a little bit. And now my blue light is on. Just hit my LF. There, it just went off, so it's really close. Ooh. You can always just back up the motor just a little bit. This wrench has a lot of play in it. Ugh. Trying to see how far off I am here. It's like a little light game that you're playing with yourself. I feel like I'm still a little too early on this. Actually, let's try that again. That was really close. Oh man, yeah, it is tough because that motor wants to fight you a little bit once you get to those sweet spots. So um, let me see if I can give you a little better look at what's going on here. Right, just so you can kind of see the whole song and dance all together. Just gonna move my motor back just a little bit, turn my key on. Hopefully you can still see the blue light and then I'm just gonna move this. To my LF mark, there it went. Yeah, so I'm, I'm off yet. So let's try this again, man. This is like a, a really weird song and dance that you have to go through here. I'm gonna push it as far as I can really kind of get it here. Tighten this up. This thing's finicky, dude. No joke. Okay, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna rotate the engine again. Just make sure I'm getting everything rocking and rolling the way it should be. My cylinder is up. Let's see. Oh, gotta get up. 
this is like the times when I would really wish I had. There's there there we go. So my cylinder's coming up. I'm gonna go. Oops. Key on. Both lights are on. Back this bad boy up. And it's just past, just past my LS mark. So I'm a little, I'm, I'm really close now. So close. Make sure that you're always on compression stroke when you're adjusting this. One thing I do kind of want to try is to see if I can actually just kind of manually move this into position because I am right on LF there. Piston is up. I'm gonna see if I can just turn this. Enough manually to get that bad boy to go off. There we go. I am just ever so gently moving this. Right there, let's see how that did it. I just manually did that. Um, I just kind of really lightly with pressure um, put that on there. I'm still on my LF mark. So let's give this a whirl here, turn this on. I back up my motor and go to my LF. Bam, right on the money. Let me show you this. There you guys can see I'm right on my LF mark and my blue light just went off. So again, just gonna go back up my motor, see how my blue light came on, and then I'm just gonna rotate. I'm just gonna go until the light comes off. The light went off and I am right on my LF mark. So I am good to go on that. Once you get to this point, um, basically, all you gotta do is just tighten the hell out of this so it never moves because that means our left cylinder is timed, our plate is in the right spot, and we're good to go. So you just wanna crank it down, and then I'm gonna do a quick little test just to make sure, but I think we're good on that first sensor. All right, here, let's give her one more test. Key on. Both my lights are on, both my LEDs are on. Okay, we're good there. I think you guys can see those, can't you? Pretty sure, yeah, see that blue light? Beautiful. I'm gonna go and do some revolutions here. I'm gonna grab my flashlight, make sure my piston's coming up. There, I see my piston coming up. My blue light is on, so that's beautiful. Now, I'm gonna just move this to my F and that blue light should go off. Just like that. That is perfectly timed on this cylinder. So let's turn that off and let's move to this bugger. This one sucks. So it's kind of the same song and dance with this one, except you adjust this one totally differently. So let's go ahead, turn my key on. Let's go around, go to my left, make sure my left is good again. God damn it, there we go. Just like that. And come around, it's gonna go off on LF. Just like that, man, that is dialed in. And now what we wanna do is we wanna rotate it over to F, uh, to the F mark on your stator and watch that green light. You guys see the green light? Yep, it's barely back there, you can kinda of see it. Um, but I'm gonna move my rotor to F and let's see how far, oop, see how far off we are here. Oh my God, that can't be real. I am just a little bit before my F mark. I'm gonna try this again, actually. I'm gonna go around. Blue. And come around to my F. Guys, I don't know if I can get that any better, actually. I might have totally lucked out here. 
I'm gonna give this another whirl. Okay, let's make sure that I am on my compression stroke over here. All right, piston's coming up. My blue light is on. I'm gonna move it to LF. Boom, blue light goes off. Beautiful. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna rotate this just a little bit. It's like 180 degrees, basically. I'm gonna move this. Okay, my green light is on. I'm gonna hop over to the other side. I'm gonna make sure I'm on compression stroke. I mean, I should be. Let's see. There's a damn piston there. Absolutely. And now, get back on the ground, and let's move this towards our F mark. Watch that green light. So yeah, it's just a little bit early. Just a little bit early. So grab your directions, and in your directions, it says, if the LED turns off before the F mark reaches the index mark on the stator sensor position is advanced and must be moved upward. All right, it must be moved upward. <laughs> so basically that means it's gotta move this way. And this is where it starts to get really freaking finicky. And this is where you're gonna need a bunch of feeler gauges to kind of help you out along the way. Now we did this at a point two I'm really close with the point two, so I don't want to get crazy aggressive here. I think what I'm going to do is go into my feeler gauges. I've got a point two. Let's do a point. Let's just add a point zero seven to the mix on this. So let me grab my tripod so you guys a little bit better look at this. Again, Common Motor has an amazing video on this. You're going to need your point three as well. I mean, this was uh, super freaking close. This is the closest I've ever gotten it on the first try. So I need to move it up, so I need to add more distance on this side. So I'm gonna take my three, I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna take my point two and my point zero seven. This is finicky, small, small, small micro movements with this sensor. Get those, both my gauges in there. Grab my pin, make sure you're putting all the pressure down and up on this to get it perfectly in position. And then tighten your screw back up. Just like this. All right, we can pull those out. Now keep them separated so you know exactly what you've been using because you can kind of gauge this as you're going. So let's go key on. Let's rotate this motor around. So there's my blue. Let's go back. Ugh. There, went off. Going over to my F. Let's see. Oh, come on, there we go. Let's go back around to my LF. Make sure I'm here, yep. So it should go off, yep. Go over to my F. Getting close. And it went off a little bit earlier. It went off a little bit earlier on that one, which isn't what I would have expected, to be quite honest with you. Um, blue out. Yep, to green. Yeah, it's going out early, so. Um, I need to add just a little bit more distance here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my point two. I did a point zero seven last time. So this time, um, let's do a point zero nine. Okay, so I'll switch from a point zero seven and I'll move this up to a point zero nine and we'll do this whole song and dance again, okay? Um, Again, Common Motor has an amazing video on their YouTube channel. Just go watch theirs. They go into great, great detail on what's going on here. Boom, boom. Push that all together, just like that. And I'm gonna tighten this up. 
just like that. Pull my feeler gauges out. Set those aside separately so you know exactly where you've been. Turn my key on. Back it up, just like that. And what did I do? All right, oops. Go back around counterclockwise, always. All right, there's my blue. Should go off on LF. Beep, just like that, it's beautiful. Now, how far off are we on this F mark? It's right on. I think it's right on, guys. Yep. Yeah, let me give you a look at that. Can you guys see my marks? You can kind of hear the little light kick on and off. Yep. It doesn't get any better than that, I don't think. Let's rotate around one more time. And you can hear that little light kind of click on and off. There's my blue. LF, and we're gonna move to our green and approaching my F, and it's right on. This engine is timed. <laughs> oh man, how cool is that? This engine is timed, that is the process. The tip uh, that I give you on this, guys, is just be super patient, all right? I'm just going through tightening all of this up. Be really, really patient, and then keep track of your feeler gauges as far as like what numbers you've been using and how far you are off at any given time. Um, this is actually really incredible. Um, that actually went remarkably smoothly. Um, again, I did it once before um, I did the video uh, just to make sure everything was jiving, and uh, yeah, I think we have it. Um, and the last thing you want to do is you want to go get this special hardened nut and bolt, or a bolt and washer, excuse me, and get that onto the end of your advancer unit. And that will hold the whole piece together. Let me grab my 10 millimeter wrench and snug that up. Here we go. 10 millimeter, well, oh, nope, that's a 12, Brian. That's a 12, not a 10. Wrench, we got our trusty 10 millimeter. Let's tighten this thing on. Ah, ah, ah. Nice and tight, and we're good to go. I feel really, really good about that. The other thing, don't forget to keep turning off your ignition so you're not burning out your coils, man. Like, they're warm. I can feel them up here. Um, they're actually pretty warm, so... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it's helpful. Maybe you can piece together uh, some information from that. I wanted to show it to you. But again, uh, Common Motor has a fantastic video on that. Thanks so much for watching the videos, guys. I mean, honestly, we're a gas tank and an exhaust system away from getting this motorcycle ready to go. If you enjoyed the videos, uh, please subscribe. Also, thumbs up the videos that you enjoy. Also, if you want to support the channel, please check out the links in the description of the videos. Guys, how pretty is that? We're good to go. We'll see you in the next video.